give an example of disaster i would tell you guys to look at my amp rack man it is just crazy at this moment good thing it can get fixed i mean i really don't care but i'm just gonna say it uh i had a few comments talking about my inline converter guys i know i know it is cheap it's a walmart one but listen guys it works it plays sound through my uh, eq the signal that goes to the base i mean we hit a 156.7 i think or something like that with that cheap line driver guys man we always light up the block with the stunt wall here on we could definitely put one of those audio control pieces um the ds18 pieces man but listen yeah lady how much louder could my basic stuff actually get i mean at the moment i'm already pushing it to the max it's doing its job uh, man, my system rarely cuts out like that. Listen, every show, block party, everything that we hit up, guys, man, we are the life of the party. It looks good. It sounds good, man. And that's all that matters. If you guys really want me to do a real deal base head build, man, like this video and drop the comment. Do a base head build. What I like to do, man, I like to build my truck, man. I like to go out to these block parties, all these car shows, interact with the people, man, put it on for the people, and let them people enjoy, you know, decent vibe with the car audio stuff. Another thing about me, guys, is listen, I could easily do videos and edit them. At the point, you don't see any of this. You don't see my inline converter. You don't hear some engine noise give you guys the impression man that i got all like the best stuff and you know it's all working 1000 percent guys but listen man don't be fooled by these other people dropping videos where they just do um their builds and let someone else do their builds they give the demos and you don't hear stuff what's going on people with the nicer installs uh zip ties here you know screw down clamps there uh, and I guarantee you, the moment they got to do maintenance on their stuff, guys, it is a complete nightmare. And they will never show you what all it takes to just repair maybe a few things that's gone something wrong with their system. But, you know, like, I, I mean, I really got nothing to hide. Um, that's the purpose of my channel, man, to show you what's actually going on in the real life of car audio. A few things that, you know, um, how to fix it and stuff like that, man. But at the end of the day, guys, you know... I like what I got going on on my Silverado, whatever somebody else got going on or whatever somebody else is use, uses on their vehicles, man, by all means that their stuff. But, you know, I just, I'm just here to show you in reality what's going on um, in a real life car audio uh, perspective, if that sounds, you know, the way it's supposed to sound. Man, nevertheless, man, we're here to fix this stuff up and just make it look nice and pretty and get it ready because we do have to rewire a few things. So with that being said, man, let's get in today's video, man. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, man. Uh, let's get to 10,000 subscribers, man. Hit that like, man. Draw some comments, and let's get started. The only way I feel that we'll actually get a real nice rewired job, guys, if we just go ahead and just take this seat out. Let's take a quick 10 minutes out and get the seat out just to make sure that, man, we can track our wires nice and neat, tuck whatever we got to tuck, and just make sure it just comes out really nice. For today's video, we're actually going to go ahead and retrack and rewire some stuff up. And a mount and wire in the PPI amp, man. I'm actually really excited to hear how this thing sounds on the stunt wall. Much make sure that I, I take out everything that needs to get taken out. Make sure all the power wires are nice and tight. Uh, we're probably going to take this guy out, man. Fuck it. You know, we don't need it no more. Um, vacuum it all out. Make it all look good, guys. guys ever work on any Chevy's um, Silverado's like mine um, taking out the back seat is rather easy there's two, two 10 millimeter bolts that connect them together take those guys out because it will make your life a lot easier taking out the seat uh, one section at a time versus trying to take both of them out and you're gonna risk scratching your truck or a customer's truck you know sometimes you know I sit back and I think like man we've done a lot of epic stuff with the Silverado guys the shows that we've been uh, to we jam out we hang out we get to meet uh, some of you guys out there man and we even took this thing to Texas and Mexico guys and even taking it to Mexico I, I still can't believe we made it there and made it back all in one piece um, and you know the truck's still here and the crazy thing about it is we actually got to go jam out in the streets of Mexico and let me know anybody else has done that i've seen other youtubers that go to mexico but they don't take their cars we took our car guys and we jammed out for hours out there 
hours. And the people loved it. It is not the most prettiest sight in the world, but it, it's there, guys. It's definitely there. And so I literally took out the beauty panel for the blow through uh, just to make it easier on ourselves to retract wires and just to work around. Uh, and now we can actually go ahead and take out the RCA that's actually messed up out completely. Um, and then just make sure that we retract everything to make it look nice and neat. Make this process a little bit more easier on ourselves is we're just going to pretty much um, unhook like all the PRV crossovers, but we're going to actually label all the RCA so we know what's what. We're going to go ahead and remove the PRV crossover that's underneath its nightmare right now. And then once we actually clean up a lot of the stuff, uh, we can actually go ahead and mount the PPI amp in its place. We can actually figure out where we're going to put that PRV crossover. So the audio control um, line driver is actually going to come out too. So the PRV crossover could actually go over there. And the thing, uh, I may actually put it over there just because I got a lot of length on RCA. So I can actually go ahead and just um, track them a little bit better so they look a little bit more neater versus just being tied up and just pushed to the side. Um, we're going to go a different route right now. We're wiring everything up just so it looks nice and neat. Um, it does look like a nightmare guys, but you know at one point when the truck got done last year Everything looked pretty good, but within time just doing like testing and tuning and little uh, incidents here and there um, I just you know tied stuff up and put it to the side But you know at one point guys it did this look pretty good. Okay, so let's actually start off by taking out the matrix This thing we only had it in here for a little bit so It's pointless to have inside here out she goes. That already looks so much better, guys. I'm not even much kidding. And next we will be taking out this line driver, but we're gonna go ahead and get the RCA that it is the signal for the subs. And we will be labeling it real quick. So we're gonna do sub in. Sub in. Let's actually take this guy off. Put it on the Arca. Boom, label. We can actually go ahead and unplug this guy. And then we can unscrew it. I don't know yet. You know, we may keep the EQ, like I said. I play a little bit of the, you know, music, 90s music, without any bass. And sometimes, you know, I listen to my Spanish music with no bass. And just a flip of the knob, guys, it gets down. Feel that the bass actually gets louder without this thing being connected. It's got to come out. But we're going to leave the remote connected anyways, just in case we ever want to put it back in. It's there. I'm telling you guys, whenever I think I got this stuff done, it was either I was working late night or I had worked late the night before and I was only working on a few hours of sleep. So, and the thing was just to get it done. And I mean, we got it done. Um, but obviously now we can actually take our time and really make it look really, really pretty. So, you know, we have the harness for the line driver and then we have the harness for the base doubler, the epicenter. And now we can take that out and it will actually look a little bit more better. So, like I said, guys, man, don't ever doubt your boy. We may have a few hiccups here and there, but man, it's all a part of the show at the end of the day. Um, I mean, we do it for the game, guys. Mess. It's already gone and it's already looking a little bit better. So this is the real real um, Mess over here um, and pretty much everything is self-explanatory over here uh, The only thing I really think I need a label is just the main input for the PRB crossover for the inside of the cab Everything else we can just uh, reconnect it and we can track it a little bit neater in the cab itself so let me go ahead and take this guy out and then we can label this RCA with the doors. Okay, so I actually labeled this one the cab mids in. So at least I know what this one is, guys. Basically, I just got like one RCA running from the EQ that just goes into the crossover. And basically, it's almost the same thing. Uh, it goes from the input from the inline converter to the EQ in the back into this one. But like I said, that RCA is bad and we can actually pull it um, and then retract a new one. Because we're actually going to have so many leftover RCAs that we'll be able to choose uh, which ones we want to do. Um, Lengthwise and all that stuff. Now we're just unplugging a bunch of stuff. 
and we're just gonna pretty much just start from scratch you know why not it's probably like the best thing for us to actually do in this so case i'm not gonna sit here and bore you guys with all my rewiring stuff um, i'm sure i'm gonna find a few surprises along the way um, and pretty much when I got everything cleared and everything set aside that looks pretty decent I'll turn the uh, camera back on and let you know the surprises But for now, man, we pulled out a lot of stuff. It's already looking neater than what it was It's time to make it look good A few moments later So your boy is still not done, you know, fixing the amp rack But it is actually looking way better than it was earlier uh, Right here, man, I separated a lot of like the stuff, uh, wall wires, uh, RCAs and power wire for the Terra amps retract the power wire for the 5k just so it's out the way and it's not exposed i took the time to like label the most important things that i need to know about you know all the wiring like power remote wire power all that stuff still got a long way to go but you know i'm gonna go ahead and just pick up tools uh give it a nice little vacuum uh just so pretty much i can start off fresh and then i'm gonna go ahead and remove that um ds250 slash 2 uh, move that out the way then I'm gonna go ahead and put the PPI amp in there once that PPI amps in there um, I can start to like really uh, put wires back into amps uh, and the process of that you know retract wires make sure they're nice and neat um, everything goes to where it's supposed to go and not just make uh, a big mess everywhere and I did take a majority of the amps out let me go ahead and show you here's a majority of the amps well I mean there's just like three of them plus like the crossovers and stuff like that um, these are the ones for the door panels I took that out um, the crossovers over there that I took out, the epicenter and the line driver. Pretty much it's going to be a fresh install just so I know uh, everything's nice and tight for, you know, the event that we're going to go to. Um, and then we can go ahead and, you know, turn stuff on and test it out and make sure, you know, we don't have nothing that fails um, before we actually head to the event. Actually feels good, you know, making sure that, you know, we're going over and making sure everything works and everything's nice and neat. Um, so at least makes us feel uh, better knowing that you know man our system's good at all the RCAs that we took out man You know we have some power wires over here, and then we have some random wires as well too at the end of the day Once this is all put back together guys. It's gonna be solid 1,000% um, very very well um, Wired in there, and then we shouldn't have no fails I'm gonna go ahead and take all the tools that I'm not using and then vacuum this guy out and then we can start setting some stuff into place and slowly start wiring stuff up and most definitely I'm not gonna be done with this today you know whatsoever um, we're just gonna take our time and make sure everything's done real nice uh, this time around how much some good cleaning can change the mood and the way everything looks guys look everything is clean and now your boy is actually really motivated um, and man I'm excited to get this stuff rewired in here the way I look at it whatever gets installed in this truck this time around that is it I'm not gonna change nothing else out um, if we have a little bit of space to maybe add an amp for you know a few horns in the back that is it but whatever amps stay inside here that is it then we're gonna go ahead and say that the build on the Silverado it is complete and then we can actually go ahead and start planning for a new build and if you want a new build man definitely like this video man and drop the comment man we are ready for a new build now build I feel it you know it's good the way it is uh, we can tighten a couple things up and then maybe just add some horns but that's pretty much it um, and I mean replace some speakers here and there but other than that guys I don't think we need to rebuild anything I don't think we need to add anything else extremely um, the way it is is the way it is and then we'll call this one done and then we'll end up calling this one you know the budget build with the budget products starting the new year guys man we're gonna definitely start off fresh with a new build uh, man it may be a base head build it may be a nice fancy build who knows but whatever it's gonna be guys 
we're going to push the limits on this car so audio. The speaker. power and the speaker inputs of the PPI amp are on this side, guys. So I really feel that that needs to go over here. And right there, so it gives it enough play to put some screws in it. And I think that's where this guy is actually going to go. Okay, now we could put this guy right here. I don't know yet. Maybe it can go right here. Just because we need to get it away. And so all the RCAs are nice and free. Which, it doesn't look that bad right there, guys. You know, that could actually work right there as well, too. But, um, I don't know yet. We'll see what happens when that time comes. And we can just put the other DS250 uh, over there just so it's out the way. Because um, under here, it's that 1800.1 that powers up the door panels. I think I'm pretty much going to call it a day for today's little um, project that I got going on. Just because now the wires did take up quite a bit of time and just making sure everything's nice and clean and labeling everything. I did take out a lot of bit of tools that I actually needed to go ahead and get that job done. And I took out a majority of all like the nasty wire. And I'm pretty much just going to take my time cleaning up all the wire up and then making sure I got everything and all the um, little nicks and ends and all the components and hardware that I need. Got a week left where this thing needs to be done completely. Man, we still got to hook up these amps. We still got to do the wires uh, for the neon lights or the lights, whatever you want to call them. Then we got to go ahead and test this guy out. Man, and then we got to get to Orlando and jam this guy like crazy. Definitely stay tuned, man. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are not, man. We are on the road to 10,000 subscribers, man. You guys are bomb.com because, man, you guys are watching the videos. You guys are hitting that like, man. The videos are getting pushed out. Man, you know, we're truly blessed to have you guys as the gang.